Hi everyone! In today's video we're gonna make a small retro console from a Raspberry Pi. A cool little project which is very easy to put together and set it up. And on top of that we're gonna give you a blast from the past playing all the games that you grow up with. I use a Raspberry Pi Model B. It has everything you need, Bluetooth and wireless. And the I.O. is very diverse given its size. It has HDMI, mini USB for powering, Ethernet port, 4 USB 2.0, taking in factor its small size, Pi 3 packs a 1.2 GHz ARM CPU, 1 GB of RAM and Broadcom GPU, so it can run console games without the sweat. For housing I use this NES style case from Retroflag. In my opinion it looks awesome and it has a very premium feel to it, making it a perfect match if you want the end product to look closer to a console. It's very easy to mount, just connect the USB and the Ethernet to your Raspberry Pi, put it in place and insert the 8 pin connector here. This will give us the possibility to add a power button to our Pi. Now you have to insert two screws and that's pretty much done. Just place the top half, flip it over and insert the remaining screws. And that was all the building part. Now our console just needs the operating system which leads us to the second part of the project, installing the OS on the SD card. For this step you will need an SD card reader. My card reader is for normal SD card so I use an extender. First we will need to download our software. Go to raspberrypi.com and download the software for your specific Pi. I will download version 3 of the software. We will need some more programs in order to install our OS. So search for Win32 Disk Manager and download it. In order for the SD card to work with our Pi we need to format the SD card. So we need to download SD card formatter in order to do it. Install and start the program. Now we will see your SD card here. Press format and we are done. The SD card has been formatting in FAT32. Extract the RetroPie ISO. I use WinRAR for that. You can use whatever program you have. And start Win32 Disk Manager. Press here and look for your file that you just extracted and open it. Now we need to select the device where we want our file to go. In my case is letter D. That is my SD card and press write. Now that we have our OS on the card, insert the SD card in our Pi, plug your keyboard, plug it into the power, for that I use the power source made for Pi, and plug it into a display or TV. If you will not post any video on your display, don't panic. All you have to do is to add this short command in the config file and this will gonna work. And now we should see the opening page. I also connected this Bluetooth controller. It gives an authentic feel to the whole experience. Next step will be installing games, which is very easy, all you need is a USB stick, plug it into your PC and format it FAT. After we format it, make a new folder and we will name it RetroPi. Now just take it out and plug it into the Pi, restart it and leave the stick connected between 5 and 10 minutes. If you have a USB with an LED, take the USB out when the light stops indicating that is writing. After this is done. Connect it back to your PC and when we open it you will see that now we have all these folders. And from now it's pretty basic. Just drag your ROMs in the specific folder and in the case that you want to play PS1 games, drop your BIOS in the BIOS folder and plug it back to your Pi. Done. You can now play all the games that you enjoyed when you were a kid. Classics like Super Mario, Mario Kart, Marvel vs Capcom, Donkey Kong Island and many more. To be honest this thing is addictive and I can't stop playing it. And with this we ended up this video. If you want more details on how to connect your controller or any other questions, leave them in the comments down below. You will find links to all the items in the description. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next one.